Hey guys, uh, what's up? Shooterbird here, and today we're gonna be making a little bit of a different video. We're gonna, well, fuck, actually, no, this isn't really different at all. This is kind of, um, you know, like, I've been doing a lot of nukes recently, and I'm gonna keep doing that, because I love nukes, and seeing them blow things down will just, I wanna make the biggest one possible. And so in this video, we're gonna make the biggest physical nuke. And that is gonna just be a giant, giant nuke. I have this new tool that is called the, where is it, where is it, where is it? The inflator tool. But this, this theoretically should make the nuke also stronger. I'm not sure. I might have to tweak it a little bit. But just for reference, I'm gonna end up blowing off the biggest nuke just to see like the, the stock biggest nuke. And then I wanna make the physical biggest nuke, the largest nuke nuke that the world's ever seen the size of that building over there and the size of that building right up there i want i have all of this flat ground to to play with this is my playground here guys this world i'm gonna use this world as much as i can because this is a fun map to just play with anyhow let's get right into uh <laughs> let's let's get right into the nukes <laughs> So, the first nuke, you guys already know, is the Tsar Bomba. I know, I said it right that time, guys. Don't worry. I'm saying it right now. I didn't say it right. I think I said to Tsar Bomba the last time. This is the Tsar Bomba. I was wrong. But but thank you guys for uh, correcting me on that. I appreciate all the comments and stuff. So, this is the largest nuke in this pack, besides the cluster nuke, which is this one, which has all of these nukes in one. Which is kind of r ridiculous, because, like... It's not needed because the world's never going to need a nuke like that. You drop a Tsar Bomba on, like, let's say, a country, and they'll surrender. Just just think about it. That's, that's really not needed. Anyhow, we should probably just test this nuke and see what this thing does. You guys probably already know what it does, but I want to see in comparison to what I'm going to make. So, remember how big this nuke is. And three, two, one. Ye oh shoot, that's kind of close. Oh well. All right. So I'm instantly dead, but that is the nuke right there. That's how big it is. Very nice, very nice. But we can go bigger and better, a hundred times better. And yeah, that's kind of a big fireball. That looks cool. I like it. I like it. All right, so that's the Tsar Bomba. Let's uh, let's fix this real quick. So now let's create the largest physical bomb. Now this bomb is gonna be, well, obviously the biggest the biggest bomb in this game to begin with is the Megaton Bomb, or is that, is that what? Yeah, the Megaton Bomb, and that's this bad boy right here. This thing's the size of a bus. This thing is massive, but we can make it bigger using one tool, and this one tool should be able to, uh, well make our day a little bit brighter keep on going wait why is it so slow size tool oh duh you just need the size tool not the inflator tool <laughs> now now we are talking now this this is a nuke this is a nuke for the century if you see this bad boy being loaded up onto I don't even know what you'd put this thing on this thing's huge but this is scary. Scary to say the least. I'm not going to be able to throw this. I'm going to have to set it over there and detonate it myself. But you lift it up by there. That's huge. Look at, look at me in comparison. Let me, let me put a camera tool down for you. So here I am. I'm jumping up and down right here. That's how big the nuke is. I can fit underneath the nuke. I'm not even at the nuke yet. Now I'm at the nuke. Isn't that insane? Look at that. Anyhow, let's get this bad boy ready to go. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to this to make it um, bigger boom boom. Let me just, uh, let me explain a little bit. So how the inflator tool works is it basically just upscales the prop, but it might upscale the explosion a little bit, but not much. So we're going to have to make that ourselves. So first of all, I'm going to grab it by here and I'm going to spawn in a few, few more of these guys. And we're going to probably put like two or three inside of this. So if I move this this way. Alright. Um, actually, that was a bad idea. No, it's not. I still have grip over it. Okay. So we're going to put that inside there. And we are going to weld it really quickly. Um, where's the welder tool? Welder tool. Grab it and then 
right there. And then we will put this bad boy somewhere in here as well. So this should be a big explosion. Very big. So it kind of sucks that it doesn't completely multiply the explosion. But that's okay. And you know what? Since I like to overkill things on this channel, let's um let's put a third one in there. Why did I enable it? I'm gonna respawn that so then I don't die and ruin ruin this moment for us. So here it is. All three of them in here, and we are gonna weld it to back there. So now this bad boy is loaded. And what are we gonna do with it? We are gonna enable all of these. So all of them are enabled now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why Why would I do that? Alright, so let's move this over here safely and calmly. And we're going to just set it down. Uh, we'll set it down by the pyramid over here. Oh my God, this is the worst decision I have ever made in my entire life. Why would I do such a thing? <laughs> Anyhow, if uh, if my game crashes, well, then I made a big... Oh my God, it's moving fast. A big explosion, a big enough explosion that um, it causes physical damage to my computer. All right, let's set it there. Good enough, good enough. So, what should be a miniature explosion? Just to, um, I mean, I guess I could shoot the nuke, but that's no fun. I guess I mean I, I could, but I kind of want to set up another wire thing, like you know, like the wire explosion. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, guys. Well. <laughs> That is the nuke down there, just in comparison to, like, let's say, a building like this size. So remember this, just just remember this size, and then you look over, oh, Jesus Christ, there's a nuke. Anyhow, if I click this button, that nuke will go off, hopefully. <laughs> um, so I hope this is gonna be pretty cool, but I hope I don't crash. So, three, two, one... That is so much bigger! Oh my gosh! Look at that! That is a explosion and a half right there. I think the Zard Bomba just got beat. Definitely just got beat. Look at all the fire that it caused! Oh my gosh! Good job, Wire. You worked. So, that was very cool, to say the least. It's kind of windy up here, I just realized, but let's go, uh, let's go down here and look at what we've caused. So, there's tons of fire everywhere. Oh, wow. Look at the fire out in the distance. There's fire there, fire here, very, there, it's just everywhere. And here's ground zero. There's quite a blast radius. I mean, it's kind of nice because there was no radiation, but at the same time, I feel like there should have been radiation for an explosion that big. Anyhow, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, uh, leave a thumbs up. And uh, I promise the next video will be a tornado video. Don't worry, I know I haven't uploaded a tornado video in a fat minute. But it'll be alright. We'll be okay. Anyhow, see you guys in the next one. Bye!